My name is Brent Colby, and today we're going to be looking at organizational control versus self-supervision. This is an overview from Stephen Covey's book titled Principled Centered Leadership. You will find it there under chapter 20. My name is Brent Colby, and uh, let's just jump right in. He opens the chapter by discussing the inherent conflict between two forces, and those forces are organizational control and self-supervision. And he kind of asks the question by illustrating early on in the chapter, how can top-down leadership and management styles coincide with those that are bottom-up? Organizational control, of course, would be that which is dictated by the organization, so the leadership and the management branches, where self-supervision would come in play by the employees themselves or those working underneath the organizers. And often, it's hard for us to imagine a way in which independent operators or those under self-supervision can still operate in, uh, independently while being under the control of an organization. On face value, these two ideas seem to conflict with one another, but this is what Covey is tackling in this chapter, this whole, uh, this whole concept. Uh, you can quote him early on in the chapter. He says, the need for control for overall integrity, direction, and continuity within the organization is obvious, but equally obvious is the need both for the individual and for the effectiveness of the organization for greater individual autonomy and freedom for decisions to be made as close as possible to the action front. He says this, an empowered organization is one in which individuals have the knowledge, skill, desire, and opportunity to personally succeed in a way that leads to a collective organizational success. So how do you do this? Um, he makes this first argument, which is that organizations are not are organic. They are not mechanical. Often, those who view their organization through a managerial lens would view them as large machines, which are to be managed and tinkered with. But Covey says that organizations can't be viewed this way. They must be viewed organically, that they're living, that they're a, a loving, living thing, that they're complex and dynamic, and that they require the skills of a gardener opposed to those of a mechanic. Um, the mechanic-gardener metaphor is one that he comes back to throughout the chapter, and you get the imagery of someone who is tending, who is nurturing, opposed to someone who is uh, just working on the nuts and bolts and uh, relationship between automated sort of things. A way in which to create empowerment, Covey argues, is to, is to establish win-win agreements. He says organizations benefit from these win-win agreements. And the organization, first off, before any of this is possible, it must be in control in order to empower others. And by in control, Covey's not meaning that they have this kind of top-down control over others, but they have a certain internal integrity about the organization itself. And he gives four qualities for this. One, he says that it must be accountable to employees. Another characteristic of an organization in control is that the employees are, of course, accountable to the leadership. Three, he said that all the work in an organization is aligned, that there's not individuals going off on their own tangents or pursuing their own aims or goals for uh, defining success in their own ways, but that the work of the organization is aligned. And finally, that there's adequate systems of assessment in place. And once an organization is in control, there are criteria that a leader could use to establish win-win agreements. So these are agreements between the leadership and the employees of the organization. And they would include, first off, desired results. Once a worker and a leader or manager can agree on desired results, that they can establish a type of win-win agreement. Also, that the two are accountable to each other. Third, that the resources are clearly defined and agreed upon. Fourth, that there are consequences. And of course, these consequences can be positive or negative. But for an agreement to be considered a win-win agreement, these consequences must be agreed upon beforehand. And finally, uh, the guidelines. So what's the framework upon which these agreements will take place? Self-supervision is the product of these win-win agreements. And so you can see here Covey's argument starting to take form 
where organizational control and self-supervision start working together instead of against each other. And so when you can become accountable, when you can establish clear guidelines, when the resources are clearly defined, when the goals of the organization and the individual are aligned, when there is adequate assessment and consequences in place, the self-supervision of an individual can begin to take place in a way that's both beneficial to them and the organization. But what, Covey asks later on, is at the heart of empowerment. And empowerment, he says, really depends on trust. It's at the core, if you will. And what is it? It's accountability. It's self-supervision. It's helpful systems and helpful structures. When you can take these four qualities, you can really establish a culture of trust within your organization. But this type of empowerment doesn't happen by itself. It can, of course, be nurtured and improved. Uh, Covey says growth in the individual and the organization follow the same process as growth in the garden. So they work to create the conditions that nurture growth. So we're looking at kind of a cultural or an environmental changes, which would include these. One, an assessment, that the assessment is possible for the systems of the organization and the individual. Two, it's personal character. Covey says, if you want to create change in your organization, you need to develop your own personal character. So create change in your own personal skills and personality even. Thirdly, as we described, win-win agreements. We need to create win-win agreements with team members. And fourthly, a fourth way to improve empowerment in your organization is to model, to personally teach, exemplify, and reinforce these values. So there's just a quick snapshot of organizational control versus self-supervision as described by Stephen Covey in Principled Centered Leadership. I hope it's been beneficial to you. You can check this out in my notes at brentcolby.com if you are interested. Otherwise, thanks for listening.